Hey guys, continuing the run of pre-orders that we have this summer, uh, we have the extension of the In Good Nature capsule that we did with Sofa, except now translated into summer fabrics. Uh, again, they're gonna be all 100% dead stock fabrics, so that means there are limited amounts and the styles are exclusive to us. You won't be able to find this at Sofa.com or at any other retailers. This is No Man Walks Alone only. Um, so yeah, let's get into them. Uh, starting off, we have with shapes that you've seen from the previous In Good Nature collection, we have their lounge jacket. This is kind of their take of like a uh, easy sport coat mixed with an overshirt uh, kind of a situation. You get that spread collar, kind of mimics a lapel uh, that goes down to these larger, more spaced out buttons and these patch pockets down at the hip. You can see it styled on Greg here. And yeah, the, the two fabrics that we're doing it in is the one modeled on Greg, which is a 100% tropical wool, uh, very dark brown, we're calling it ebony stripe, uh, very subtle tonal stripe there. Um, it's a pretty relaxed shape, kind of boxy. It has two slide side slits for like a, a bit of ease, um, but then the rest of it is just square across the bottom and uh, really nice flowy, especially with that light fabric. What do you think? Yeah, oh, I, li I, I like it a lot. It's great. I mean, it really feels like a shirt, mm -hmm. but the shape itself feels like more than a shirt. I also like the fact that it has like, you know, real tailoring details. The shape of those patch pocket guys, look at that. Yeah. That's very, you know, you know, someone is really into tailoring when they make like that's like really like wider bottom, like patch pocket like that. Yeah, very Neapolitan. Very natural the way the hand sits in there. And yeah, the construction of this is all made by uh, one of Stofa's um, ateliers that they kind of focus primarily on like sleepwear and very much like finer fabrics, um, but they're able to do this kind of soft construction to their spec, which kind of mixes those two worlds of like Italian tailoring along with this like almost sleepwear adjacent uh, vibe that we're getting. Uh, so yeah, that fabric was 100% wool and this is a hemp linen cotton mix or hemp wool uh, cotton mix. Uh, this one is particularly limited. This could maybe, I think maybe like around 15-ish um, garments. So if you're very into this, which I think you probably should be, uh, definitely order quick. It's a very open weave, similar to the stuff that you saw with Carrara. Uh, if I put it in light, you can definitely see right through that. Um, very open Panama weave uh, and the, has like an ecru base with this taupe over check of like a window pane. Uh, really handsome, really good. The next up we have are the lounge shirts that you'll see. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not the lounge, uh, the, the camp, long sleeve camp collar shirts, there we go. Um, modeled on Ken Sean here. This is a style that we had in the previous season as well. Uh, you can see how it differentiates from the lounge jacket with those pockets being a little bit up higher on the chest. Not too high though, still pretty dropped. Still that same rounded design language. Um, but the buttons are definitely more suited to be shirts. This is still, I'd say a proper overshirt, but with the fabrics that we're using, it's super soft, super light. You can wear it on skin, no problem. It'll keep you cool through the summer. <laughs> the one that he's wearing here is a wool linen silk. Um, it has a really, uh, it a lot of like really fine texture. If you want to get a close up on that, yeah. um, it's kind of just like a plain weave of wool and linen. But then you get this nice running slubs and nubs of silk uh, when you see it like in person. I don't think it translates so well like through video or through pictures, but it's something you definitely want to handle. It has a really really special quality to it with these really subtle long stripes going up and down. The other fabrics that we decided to do it in are this. Uh, two-ply tropical wool in this very, very Stofa um, taupe color. Uh, I think it looks really nice. This is something you're going to be able to pair, match with a bunch. And then a revival of an exact style that we had from the last time. It works for the winter and it's going to work for spring too. 100% uh, wool basket weave in graphite. Uh, it has varying kind of widths for the yarns going up and down. So as you get close to that, you can see there's a ton of uh, fabric in there, a ton, a ton of fabric, a ton of texture, and it's a pretty open weave. Uh, so it definitely has a good free to it. And we also did it in this kind of lighter pearl gray. Uh, so you get a darker version, a lighter version. They both are super duper nice, go well a ton. And then the last style that we did for tops is this spread collar shirt. While the others were kind of more suited to be uh, over shirts, this is kind of cut and modeled to be just a regular shirt that you wear on skin. Um, but it is still like an oversized cut. While those were just relaxed in nature, this one kind of uh, pushes it a bit to the extreme where it has these drop shoulders um, and this elongated body. So it kind of reads as a more relaxed version of a dress shirt. You get that uh, oversized spread collar 
And the fabric is definitely something to speak of. It's a similar fabrication uh, where it's wool, linen, silk, but I believe it's more linen than wool. Um, and it's this chocolate brown, like a super rich brown uh, herringbone that goes up and down. And then you see like a bit of a dotted, almost like a gray silvery stripe that goes with it, along with um, this like midnight navy. Uh, really, really handsome fabric. This is one that when we saw, we kind of wanted to do it in like everything possible, uh, but it definitely makes the most sense in this shape. And along with most of the top fabrics, we also have bottoms that'll match them. These bottoms are the same shape that we had from last time as well. This is their easy pant. Uh, it's a elasticated waistband that has kind of like this inner loop that goes around. So the drawstring is offset and you just tie it through there. It's not a smaller like little string. It's actually just a self piece of fabric that goes around and cinches really nicely. Um, then the rest of the body is kind of this relaxed loose shape. You can see it on Greg here. So it has a pretty roomy, generous top block. Uh, the rise is pretty substantial. It has these really, really sweet pleats. Um, I don't exactly know how you call those. Those like inverted pleats um, or like a, a box pleat on the front. I don't know. Very special. It looks really good. And the way that it drapes down. Um, good pleats. I would say good pleats. Yeah. <laughs> on hanger, it kind of can almost read pajama-esque, but then you see it styled on Greg here. It definitely gives you the vibe of a full suit. This guy's ready to just... Uh, Chill on a nice little island getaway out on the Riviera. Ooh, espresso, maybe a, a little drink. He's, he's having fun, he's having a good time. Um, and yeah, so that's a great shape. We have it again in that matching tropical wool and the other fabrics that we decided to do it in are the two-ply taupe wool along with the wool linen silks, that gray and that brown. Uh, other details to mention are on the back, you get these Similar to the what we got on the jackets, these really, really nicely rounded um, patch pockets and pretty solid pattern matching on there as well. Um, and the trousers will come unfinished all the way down, so you hem them to where you want. Uh, everybody can kind of do what they want with it. Uh, so much that, that we were like, hey, you know, these fabrics are pretty light. They'd be pretty good as like shorts, and they definitely are. It's a short that I'm wearing here, along with a uh, wool linen silk version of that short. We first saw these shorts on the Stofa guys at the shoot while we were doing the um, the fall shoot. And I was like, wow, yeah, these look really, really luxe, really nice, uh, just the shape and cut. It just feels super easy, something that kind of just like, I guess, dresses up well, but it just also kind of maintains like a, a, a luxe vibe while almost looking like a, like a big boxer short or like a more refined take on a baggy. Uh, I think that it just translates super nicely. It's the exact same cut that you're getting with the easy pant, so then when you're hemming it off and cutting it there, the leg just is still pretty wide. And as you walk, it just catches the air really nicely. It just looks effortlessly like floaty, um, very uh, ethereal stuff here. Uh, we're, we really like them, they're super nice. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think if you are looking for like a nice luxe short, this is an option to do. They don't come this short, they are about, I think half the length of this inseam. So um, if you do order them, they're gonna be about this long. Don't worry, you can hem them to wherever you'd like. We chose a five inch inseam, so that's what I'm wearing here. Uh, if you want something down lower to the knee, I still think it would translate well. And uh, yeah, that is the Stova collection. Everything that you've seen here is sampled in a size 54, which is about our true size. Um, so that's the fit that you would get. I think one sizing note that I'd make is I think these pants and the shorts as well definitely are better a size up just because the way that the drawstring works, the way that it cinches adds that bit of body to it. Otherwise, it can just kind of fall a bit flat and be a bit stiff. So you kind of want enough size to get movement uh, with all the fabrics. Uh, yeah. See y'all.